a few moments to let him rest. This should help you remember everything. Can you just, can you believe what we just looked at? Can you believe what we just looked at? That was Call of Duty Black Ops. Yeah, the follow-up to Call of Duty 6. Call of Duty 6. That was the follow-up. That's what I waited a week for. I waited a week to see that teaser. And that's what I get. Well, thank you, Activision. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> uh, well, if you didn't know already, Call of Duty 7 is uh, set to release on November 7th, 2000... No, November 9th, 2010. Um, it's going to be developed by Treyarch, which is the same company that released World at War. And... Um, Supposedly, it's going to take place from locales like Vietnam. It's going to take place in Cuba or Cuba, wherever you're from. Um, and it's going to span a few years. I'm, I'm hearing 1961 from uh, when former President Kennedy called in an invasion of Cuba that failed. <laughs> All the way up until 1975. I'm not too sure what the time span is, but uh, that was Call of Duty 7. It looks interesting, I'll tell you that. It's a game that I would definitely buy. But there's one big problem. One major problem. It's being published by Activision. I hate Activision right now. I'm on a personal boycott from Activision. And like I said, until I see that they're tyrannical, voracious, consumer-unfriendly habits change, I will not be buying any games from Activision. And I know as a, as a consumer and a gamer, there's no way you can't be excited. Especially if you're a first-person shooter fanatic. There's no way you can be unmoved by the fact that there's a new Call of Duty game coming out. But Activision just disgusts me. I mean, did you uh, did you see that 38 members of Infinity Ward are suing Activision for unpaid royalties? 26 of which have already defected, already left. A couple of those guys joined uh, Respawn Entertainment that was formed by West End Zampella, former founders of Infinity Ward. I'll tell you, Call of Duty 7 looks great, but I'm, there's no way I'm purchasing it. And I'd like to hear you tell me you're going to purchase that game. Did you hear about Activision's new business model? This is their business model. They want to charge consumers to play online. Outside of the fact that you're already paying for your system, you're already paying for the game, if you're an Xbox Live player you're paying for xbox live and now you're gonna have to pay a separate subscription fee to activision to play their games online i'll tell you if that business model comes to pass there's no way i'm buying another activision game period once their habits change i'll consider buying you know new games but if that business model is set in place forget about it and, and uh, the big the biggest news, the biggest news, Bungie signs a 10-year uh, agreement with them. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Did he not hear what I said? That's right, Bungie. The same company that released those horrible Halo games. Bungie. 
10-year exclusivity deal with the devil, with Bobby Kotick, with Activision. I had to talk some sense into him. He wasn't listening. He wasn't listening. 10 years. I'm sorry, Halo sucks. I don't care who you are. I don't care what you think. Halo sucks. But Bungie is a great developer. And yeah, no, no, no. I'm no, I'm no Sony fanboy. I own the Xbox. You see that? That, dusty as it is, that's the original Xbox controller. I was one of the first people to pick up an Xbox when everybody was playing their PlayStations. I own an Xbox. I just don't like the 360. Anyway, back to back to what I was talking about. There's a lot of dust on that controller. Um, Bungie sides with Activision. Uh, uh, for what? Did they not hear what happened to Infinity Ward? But uh, yeah, Bungie signed a 10-year exclusivity agreement, and uh, they're going to be able to retain the rights to their intellectual property, and they're going to be putting out third-party games. So we're going to see some Bungie stuff on the PlayStation 3, possibly even the Wii. But it's being published by Activision. Will you buy a Bungie game if you have to pay to play online? No, not me. You guys let me know what you think. This is a, <laughs> this is a really anger, it's a really anger inducing topic for me. But uh, you guys let me know what you think. Um, rate, comment, subscribe. Goat Perverter out. Peace out guys.